another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official Netflix show for the new romantic comedy, The Perfect Date. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much about a guy who creates an app where um, anybody can use him as a stand-in boyfriend, pretty much. Have I heard this concept before? Has it been used before? Can I don't know. Maybe. I don't Probably know. a concept has been used before, but... Maybe mm -hmm. not with the app thing, pretty much. It's just starting to get more, we're getting more digital with it. Mm -hmm. um, I, but I've heard this concept before. It's probably, you probably, you guys, any of you guys who watch a lot of these rom coms or romantic movies or something like that, probably have heard of it or something like that, where it's like they created something to that, you know, to, hey, where you're staying in this or staying yeah. in that. Um, so well, let's just take, it, take a look at it. So coming to us from Netflix, of course. So this is Dive Rises for the official Netflix trailer for the perfect date. So here we go. I've always wanted to date the most popular girl, drive the nicest car, and go to the fanciest school. Yeah, let's go, correct? More than anything in the world. But I can't afford any of that. I escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. What? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I get the payment you were talking about. And I get to take your car. Yeah. You got a suit? There you go. You're getting paid to take a girl on a date. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true. And that is my point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, good evening. Let's do this. So we can stop doing this. Wait, she looks familiar. Yeah. I don't know why it's not called the stand in. You think it would be called that? Oh my god, Show Austin Alley. Oh, okay. That's she's she, Alley. That's why she seemed familiar. Yeah, she's out. She was also in um, Lady Bird as uh, Diana. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's it seems harmless. You know, it's like um, the Kissing Booth, pretty much was a good one. Um, yeah, you said you you thought it was watched fine. that one. Um, uh, and also the other one where it's like uh, about all you know the boyfriends she's ever had. So as somebody who's a in a relationship and b watched a lot of rom coms because of said relationship, what do you think of this film? Looks alright. Looks alright? Looks alright. I mean, like I said, it's harmless. It's, it's not, weird it's not called the stand-in. You would think they call it by the app name or something like that, the stand-in, you know, something like that. But it says it's just the perfect date. It's like, honestly... I did a little bit part where he had to sit there, apparently he had to sit there for four, four hours. hours. And, ju and just say one line. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that makes things alright. I mean, I'm probably going to watch it anyways because my wife likes watching a lot of those type of films. So, yeah, it looks, it looks harmless. I mean, it's got it's got a great it's got a not great fantastic, but it has a it has a good idea, a good concept, pretty much. And then it just dives into the regular basic tropes and stuff like that. Um, and and sometimes 
that's what sometimes people want, you know, in a film. They want the same tropes because it's like, it's what they all imagine, what they dream for and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. it helps them escape the real world when it comes to these type of films. So there are times when I don't have anything against films like these or those dramatic ones. Like, oh my God, he's a bad boy. You know, he did this or that. I don't have any problem with them. It's just, it's like some people, it's like this is their way to uh, escaping reality pretty much. And this is like the, the, what they've always pictured and imagined. You know, stuff like that. And that's how my wife is with, you know, like, um, I hate to say it, the Fifty Shades series. You know, she's like, it's the type of thing where you can only imagine pretty much. You know, a lot of, every girl imagines them in that spot, in that place. And yeah. that's where, he, even with this film, it's doing the basic, simple, basic tropes, stuff like that, where it's like, oh, he's hanging out with the girl, but then he really likes this other girl. But then, of course, it was like he may end up with the other girl. But there are times when I like it when they twist it up where he still ends up with the girl, but he's still friends with the actual other girl. Yeah. You know, where it's like there's some type of, twist or turn so I just had to get that out of there off my chest stuff like that about it about these type of films so yeah so uh other than that if you're new to the channel you hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this comment down below if you want to share us around share it around and if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Netflix original movies hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall if you love these type of films because there's romantic type of films there's rom-com um, ones. Let us know what you guys thought of this one is overall. And, you know, do you enjoy it? Does it look like it's gonna be a fun flick to watch for you and maybe significant other, or just you overall? Um, just put down your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear them. Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction as well to this trailer. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And it's been a very stand-in filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.